back to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie Bell. If you're new here, before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be trying to recreate three of my favorite Starbucks drinks at home. So I went onto Pinterest and I found all the recipes and then I went and got all of the ingredients that I needed. And I've never made these drinks before, so this might not go as planned, but we are going to try this out at home. And the drinks that I'm going to make today are the pink drink, the caramel frappuccino, and the mocha cookie crumble. So I have my blender here for the two drinks, and then the, other, the pink drink does not need to be blended. But I have all my ingredients, so I have coconut milk, whipped cream, caramel, and chocolate. Wow. Caramel and chocolate sauce, um, lots of ice. I don't know if this is the right one that they told me to get. It kind of, this one is a little bit different, but this is just cranberry juice, pink cranberry juice. I don't know if that's the exact one that they called for, but I couldn't find the one that they did. And then just some strawberries. They called for freezer, freeze dried strawberries, but I'm just gonna use fresh ones because I couldn't find those. So yeah, those are all the ingredients that I need and then I guess we're just gonna get right on into it. So the first drink that I'm gonna make is the pink drink because that one sounds like it's gonna be the easiest to start off with. So I went to Starbucks and I awkwardly asked for three venti cups. Um, I think they were a little bit confused, but that's okay. So I'm gonna grab the first one here and it says to fill up the cup halfway with ice. This might not even... And then what it says is just to fill up the cup a little under halfway with coconut milk. So I've actually never purchased coconut milk before, so I'm not even sure if this is the correct one. Um, I think it call, calls for sweetened coconut milk, but this has, doesn't even say anything about if it's sweet or not. Um, it's just the coconut dream, I don't know. So we're just gonna add this into the halfway mark, like it calls for. All right, next it says to put the strawberries on top, so I'm just gonna quickly cut them, cut a few. All right, and then I'll just take these and plop them on top. That looks kind of like a drink. Um, and then it says just to finish it off, just take your pink cranberry juice, and I've also seen People use um, the refreshers from Starbucks. I think that's another way you can do it, but I cheated a little bit and got this one. And then just fill this up to the top. It actually looks like it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take a straw. I don't know if you're supposed to mix it, but I'm going to. I feel like there's too much coconut milk in it. Maybe I'll add a little <laughs> It looks like the drink though. Okay, we're gonna put this on there. It actually tastes like it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that worked. Mm. All right, so I think I would rate my creation. I mean, the Starbucks one's way better, but this would probably be a seven out of 10. I actually am surprised that I actually made it. So I'm actually gonna put this into the fridge um, for a little bit later and then I'm gonna start making the next one. But I think this was a success. I think I swallowed like a leaf in the straw. So I think that was the easiest one out of them all. Now we're gonna get a little bit harder, I think. Again, I've never made these before, so I don't even know where to start, but I just have all the instructions on my phone. So I'm just gonna look back on this. So I'm gonna make the caramel frappuccino now. And it says two cups of ice, one cup of strong brewed coffee, three quarter cup of milk, um, a quarter cup of caramel sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, that's optional, but may as well just throw it in. Uh, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then whipped cream and caramel sauce to top off. All right, so I just brewed the coffee here and I put it into the fridge for a little bit so it's not hot. And then it says, put ice and cooled coffee, um, half and half or milk and caramel sauce, sugar and vanilla into a blender, mix on high. So I guess just throw it all in. So. All right, so 
I'm just gonna pour both of these in at the same time. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. So mix the milk and the coffee in. And then it says to put your two tablespoons of sugar. This here, it's a lot of sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla. And then it says a quarter cup of caramel sauce. And then we'll just throw the caramel sauce in there. I give credit to Starbucks people. This is like hard work. I mean, I mean it's set up easier at Starbucks. But... Okay, so I think everything's in there. I think. Mix on high until smooth. I think the consistency is a little too... That's actually not that bad. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. Actually looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna... It's a little bit more liquidy, I feel like, than normal. Now the best part... I have an art of doing this, so... That looks pretty good. And then they take their caramel sauce. Wow. A masterpiece. A masterpiece. <laughs> so good. Wow. Okay, I rate this like a 10 out of 10 because I'm actually very proud of this. I can't believe I made this. Starbucks, hire me. So good. Okay, so that's it for this one and I'm very proud of it. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to make the mocha cookie crumble. And then I thought I had the recipe for it, but I actually didn't. So I went on YouTube and like watched a video on how to do it. So this might not turn out as it should. So first I'm just gonna do, it says over one cup of ice. So I'm just gonna fill this probably about there. And then it says to put in half a cup of milk. And then it says to put in an ounce, but I converted that into tablespoons. It said to do two tablespoons of chocolate sauce. I love chocolate, maybe just like a little bit more. Okay, next it says three teaspoons of chocolate. It says to use dark chocolate, but I do not have that. I only have milk. So this is why this recipe is not going to be exact. So we're just going to add those in there. And then it says to add pumps of vanilla. But again, I feel like that's not going to make a lot. So I just doubled the recipe because it looked like it wasn't going to make a lot. So maybe the YouTube video that I watched made it for a size smaller. So I just put another cup of ice and then another half a cup of milk. I put more chocolate sauce in and now I'm just going to add a little bit more chocolate chips. And then like I was saying before, um, I don't have pumps of vanilla, so I'm just gonna add regular vanilla. This is gonna be a mess. Like, actually a mess. So I'm just gonna add, I don't put that much in there. All right, and then it says to add in two shots of coffee. So I just filled up a half a cup because I don't have any shot glasses. So I'm just gonna add that in there. All right, so it's all in there. I have no idea what kind of creation we're gonna make with this because I didn't really follow the directions, but I'm just gonna mix it up and see. kind of looks like it I feel like it's not as thick just like the other one it's not as thick as normal and I actually made way too much now it smells like a chocolate milkshake it's not as thick as Starbucks I don't think maybe it is and for the best part every time Just drizzle it with some chocolate sauce. Oh, beautiful. I feel like this one's not gonna taste very good though. I don't know why, I just feel like it's not going to. It's actually not bad. It kind of tastes like chocolate milk though. 
it's good though. I think I would rate this like a six, maybe a seven. But for presentation, 10 out of 10 for sure. It actually looks like the actual one. So, let me clean this up. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm not a barista, so this was my first time ever making Starbucks drinks. And I think for presentation, they look pretty good. For the taste, definitely is a little bit off from Starbucks, but I can get better. Comment down below if you want me to try any other specific drink, because I actually had a lot of fun with this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.